Hi there, this is Mr Evans. This video is the second video on payback and we look at how to interpret our calculation. Um, so, uh, the previous video considered uh, what payback was and payback is a method of investment appraisal looking at the uh, potential re returns on an investment and it simply <coughs> calculates the length of time in years and months uh, to pay back the initial cost of an investment. So um, once you've calculated it, it's important to know how to interpret the figure. So we uh, calculated in the previous video a payback of uh, two years and 6.2 months for this um, initial investment of 500 million. That 500 million would be repaid after two years and six months. So how do we interpret that? Well, a shorter payback period would be preferred. Um, once we once we pay back that initial investment, the um, the project starts to become profitable. So uh, the sooner that that happens, the better in terms of an investment. Uh, a longer payback time means more risk. This is because the further we start projecting out our uh, data and our calculations and our assumptions into the future, the more likely we are to be wrong. I mean, simply the more amount of time there is, the more changes that could occur in the external environment that we haven't anticipated. So um, a longer payback time is riskier for a company. Um, and uh, when we're looking at this, we're assuming cash flow is equal throughout the year, which, which doesn't necessarily hold true. So we must remember to uh, take our calculations with a pinch of salt. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to using the payback method of investment appraisal. And once you've learned the other methods, um, it might be worth just revisiting these pros. But first of all, payback is relatively easy to calculate and understand. Look at the previous video on how to calculate. Do plenty of practice, um, but once you've got the hang of it, payback is a relatively easy method to use. Um, and um, payback might be relatively... Uh, more accurate than the other methods that, that we're going to look at simply due to its simplicity. The more factors that we start taking into account, which we do with the other uh, methods of investment appraisal, um, the more things in our calculations that can go wrong. So perhaps just keeping it nice and simple, when are we going to be paid back, is going to um, uh, be a benefit of payback. Um, the disadvantages of payback, well, it doesn't consider the overall profitability of a project is probably its biggest weakness. All right, we've said, OK, we're going to get paid back after two years and six months. But all right, but it, it, how much money are we going to get overall from this investment? We know we're going to start making a profit or we assume from our figures we're going to start making a profit after two and a half years. But how much profit are we actually going to make on this investment? And obviously, most businesses would want to know that and payback doesn't tell them. And of course, we've mentioned that this doesn't account for seasonal fluctuations. When we work out the average monthly cash flow, we're, we're assuming the cash flow to come in equally throughout the year. So uh, a couple of advantages and a couple of disadvantages of payback, um, plus, of course, how to interpret. The quicker the payback period, the better. 